So, change zoom. Can you see me? Oh God, this is not my best. I have my morning smoothie. I'm going to show you the vanilla avocado because that is my go-to, my favorite. I'm really freaking hungry. The avocado makes it creamier and it makes me be fuller for longer. Take a little Nutribullet. Okay, nut milk. So as you'll see as part of the exclusive recipes, I did my go-to recipe for um, homemade almond milk. So I'm gonna use some of that. Or if you don't want to make nut milk, Califia, unsweetened vanilla or regular, the way to go. I'm going to add my nut milk, proper serving there. We're going to add our nut milk, the vanilla avocado. We're gonna start with some vital proteins, collagen. One serving, I like to do, because this is the vanilla, I like to use my vanilla coconut one. We are going to add a third of an avocado. Don't cut your hand off when you are cutting open your avocado. Slice it, pit it, and then peel it, scoop it. So I just want a third. Okay, so I did nut milk, I did my collagen, my avocado, chia seeds. Not only will this add some fiber, it will make it creamier. So I take one tablespoon of chia seeds, and then of course, we got our spinach. Anyone else agree that the lighting in my kitchen is so bad? Okay, so I added about a cup of spinach. I am not going to do fruit, but I am going to do ice cubes. Ice cubes, again, even though I kind of promote for my own health having things warmer because it's easier to digest, there's something that wakes me up about a colder morning smoothie. So I'm not getting crazy, I'm just putting in, like if I could get the ice cubes out, putting in three ice cubes, like will it. And that's that. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right, it's better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to charge. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. And just like that, check out this perfection. Another fun fact, I like to have my smoothies out of a bowl because it makes me eat it slower. So we are gonna check out the creaminess. Hold on, let me let, me let you guys get involved. That green creaminess. As you can see, I started to pour it before and then I screwed up so I had to re-pour it, which is why there's already green in the bowl but creamy, yummy, oh my god. Snacking is a huge part of my life and I will do a more formal pantry tour at some point, but this is all my nut butters and these are all of my seaweed and popcorn. Those are like my favorite snacks. And then as we go down here, dun dun dun, dun sorry, sorry. Oh, just a year supply of chocolate chips from my Enjoy Life family. And yeah, I'll do a formal refrigerator tour at some point too, but this is where I keep the goods. Hugh Kitchen chocolate chunks. This is my chocolate drawer. Addictive wellness. I just had one of these because I need to recharge. I keep my RX bars, all the bars down here. Yeah. Snacks are super important. Love me some snacks. Actually, I wanna show you guys my favorite snack. Right here, frozen avocado. I literally will slice up an avocado before it goes bad and eat it and it tastes like avocado ice cream. It's my favorite thing in the world. Okay, but I'm gonna make lunch. I literally just said I wasn't going to snack and I was going to make lunch and then those chocolate chips were looking so good, so um, Yeah, I'll be uh, eating some chocolate. Okay, it is lunchtime, and I want to show you guys my go-to lunch. You have for sure seen me post it on stories before and on Instagram. It is, I buy uh, Trader Joe's cauliflower rice, and I use a half bag of cauliflower rice. I cut open an avocado. <laughs> Outtakes. Um, I cut open an avocado with my avocado slicer and I do a half bag of the cauliflower rice with a half avocado, 
I'm literally a mess right now. I just dropped part of the avocado. All in a tablespoon of avocado oil. And then I'm gonna fry a sunny side up egg, add that on top, and it is going to be a delicious meal. Look how amazing this cutter cuts my avocado. Okay, I got the cauliflower cooking. Okay, check out the finished product. I have my egg. I always do my eggs over hard. I have half avocado, all my cauliflower rice, and get a scoop of everything. Mm -mm -mm. A little salt and pepper, so good. And it is officially dinner time, the last stop on, it was actually not usually the last stop on what I eat in a day because I always have some form of chocolate again for dessert. But I wanna show you a classic dinner that I make. Also, as I'm shooting this video, do you realize that I basically just wear a white t-shirt that I have cut and cropped every for every single outfit? Um, if you haven't noticed that on Instagram, you notice it now. So yeah, for dinner, there's a few things that I typically make. I am on a huge bone broth with roasted vegetables kick, uh, but tonight I need something heartier, so I want some like protein. Uh, and when I have that, it's typically wild salmon or wild trip. So I have a tablespoon of olive oil heated up here, and I was thawing some shrimp, nice and raw. I have a pound of wild shrimp that I am going to saute. And what's great about this is that it's so quick and easy to make. We're gonna make a plate of spinach. You can squeeze a lemon over it at the end too. Um, if I were making this in coconut oil, then I probably wouldn't squeeze anything on top because that coconut oil flavor carries over. Give yourself a uh, little taste test. See if it's ready? It's ready. Remove. Let it simmer. Again, you can squeeze some lemon on top now or later. Whatever you want. Dinner is served. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will show you the finished product in a second. But if you want to see more videos from me, I'm gonna do a lot more recipe videos. I have my time-lapse series launching soon, more personal talks. I'm gonna do everything on this channel, so hit subscribe. I think it's like right here. Um, I'm so excited to show you guys more. I'm really hungry, I'm gonna eat, and uh, I'll leave you off on one last little bit. Here is dinner.